previous video I showed you how uh, the Android project flutter project we can successfully run in the new M1 MacBooks. So today I'm going to show you some kind of tips we need to do before we set up our project in M1. So first of all I'll, I'll show you the what's the problem I faced in this Mac. So okay. First of all let's run the project in our simulator. So currently defaultly I got iPhone 12 Pro Max. So the issue I got with this simulator was kind of like this. Let's wait for the build first and then it will run in the simulator. Took six, 16 seconds to build and you can see app is pop up. So normally here what I faced is it's kind of high resolution screen so I don't know why it's happened so I just wanted to change the emulator to another emulator so for that I went to Xcode and I tried to change to another emulator and I tried to run it see the build is failed this here what happened is actually this uh, this architecture we need to exclude arm 64 from these debug devices so for that I found a good reference in the stack overflow let me share that so I found this one so what you need to do is you have to exclude arm 64 for the simulator architecture from the both of your project and pod files so then you will be able to run the project in any emulators so here you try another one it's also get failed due to this base Due to this uh, arm 64 not excluded issue so let me show you how I fix that so as in tutorial as in stack overflow you need to go to the first of all the project in project you have to first go to the runner and runner you have the build settings and there you need to go to the all section and here you can see the excluded architecture place so from there you need to add a one for the debug section there you can you have to select any iOS simulator and add arm64 um, now it's added here like this so not only that then you need to go to the pods next you need to go to the pod section and okay remember to select this one sometimes you will select the only one and do the change but uh, we have to do for the all targets so you need to select the pod section and then you need to add the excluded architectures like following for the debug and add any simulator any iOS simulator SDK and here you need to add the parameter um, 64 so 
now we have added the excluded targeting just for the all the targets so again you can run the build and check what happens yeah now you can see the build is succeeded and the simulator is changed for the iPhone 8 and you will be able to run the project yes we have that now so app is working perfectly yes so this is what I wanted to show how we can do this change so I'll put this stack of flow link also then you can follow these steps so I think this will be useful for anyone who is struggling to the move to the M1 chip and setting up their projects in this M1 machines so I just wanted to share my experience how I tried to do solve this issue so hopefully this, this will help for you so that's it I'll come up with a new video with new experience I will get with M1 thank you